our channel lean medical billing now we are going to see the denial coding which is major denial is an inclusive denial okay we'll go through that and then we'll understand what is the detail about this particular denial and how we are going to handle this denial by the lean way okay so as usual we will check what is that code denial code for inclusive see if you see here we have these many codes are getting denied for an inclusive it's mainly with the 97 so 97 will talk about the codes are inclusive with the primary procedure and 231 it says mutually exclusive procedure cannot be done on the same day setting and 234 so these are all the major three codes which will be categorized into an inclusive denial one is 97 and second one is 231 and 234 okay this procedure code cannot be paid separately okay these are all the three major scenario we are going to get inclusive and mutually exclusive and the pay the procedure cannot be paid separately so we will go to the sop and we will see what is the kind of denial we are going to get it and how we are going to analyze we will go to the pre-call analysis of this particular denial see when the check the claim is denied uh, for an inclusive or a bundled code or mutually exclusive first you have to check what is the cpt code which is denied and you check whether there is a two way to analyze okay first thing you check in the claim whether the same claim with other codes see for example your denied claim is built with other cpt codes in the same claim or you will build a different claim on the same date of service that claim is getting denied or you do you file only one claim and this is not denied with the same claim this is denied on a different claim so our scenario is different see same claim with other code other claim on the same date of service or not on the same claim you just categorize in this three category okay first we'll go to the same category okay same claim with other code okay check whether we build with any modifier and the modifier is correct or not okay there is a check the rvu value okay see the rvu value is very important in finalizing your inclusive denials see how to identify the rvu value it's very simple okay the higher dollar value must be paid okay which is more precise to the relative value unit see for example you are billing two codes one is for 400 dollar and other one is for 200 dollars okay that means the 400 dollar will have a higher rvu value and $200 will have a lesser RVU value and you see that all the higher va RVU value must be paid and the lower RVU value can be denied as an inclusive and check the diagnosis code what are all the diagnosis code you guys built and check the place of service what we built and you can check in the magazine edit and we will find we will come to this in the latest later part okay and the same way the second lot okay other claim on the same date of service okay you build two claim the your your claim is denied for the inclusive with other code so in this case check if the cpt is the same okay and check if the provider is different or the same provider and check if the modifier is present there or not and check in the magazine edit or code correct and other tools okay we'll go to the third scenario okay the we have only one claim the claim which is denied as an inclusive to the other claim which is not in the same DAS or not in the same claim okay so here it's a concept called global surgery okay see what do you need to do you have to check the CPT code and understand what is a global period either 10 days or 90 days okay check the diagnosis code and based on that you are going to add a modifier okay which is modifier is correct and then you have to check and then call the insurance and then send this claim back for reprocess if modifier is incorrect send it to coding review and if a modifier is allowed and then you can rebuild the claim with the corrected modifier see here the the magazine edit or a code correct and other tools will play a major role here we can check it and then understand whether we can add any modifier or not okay by checking this you can understand whether it is an inclusive denial is correct or not if it is not correct you can send this claim back for reprocess if a claim is denied for an inclusive okay and if a modifier is allowed you can check with coding team and you can rebuild the corrected claim if modifier is not allowed okay you have to take an adjustment it is mainly based on your project specific okay so when coming to that uh, inclusive denial okay so we are talking about the cca edit okay cca edit mainly has a three parameters one is zero and then one and then nine 
see there is a two uh, column will be there one is your denied claim and the primary primary procedure codes okay if you go back and then check it okay your primary procedure code is inclusive with the your denied code will be inclusive with the primary procedure code see this ec edit will have a two column one is you have to enter your denied denied cpt and you have to enter the your primary cpt okay prime cpt code here and then you have to check your outcome okay if the outcome is zero and here no modifier is allowed no modifier is allowed if it is one modifier is allowed if it is nine it's an incorrect denial okay where you can get your cci edit you can go to the cms website okay you can go to the site and then you can get your um cci edit on it okay search for cci edit ncci and you will get the excel sheet in that excel sheet you will have a different column first column you have to enter your denied cpt and the second column you have to check with the primary cpt code and check the outcome okay if it is zero no modifier is allowed if it is one modifier is allowed and if it is nine it is a incorrect denial okay you can send this claim back for reprocess this way you have to close this one okay if it is an inclusive and bundle code so what all the information you used to collect when you are calling the insurance okay claim denial date what is the primary cpt code and if it is a global which date of service it's a global and what is the global days for the surgery and modifier is available in the claim or not and the provider same or different and the claim number and the call reference numbers okay checking the coding tool that's very important if I, it's an incorrect denial you can send this back for reprocess and how many days it will take for getting the reprocess done okay here we are going to see some more information about your global denial okay see for example if a claim is denied in the third scenario okay that's what we discussed here okay claim is denied but it is not in the same day or not in the same claim it is in the different date of service so that we are checking is there any possibility of global denial get the surgery date so what do you need to do when you're calling the insurance company you ask what is the surgery date or the claim inclusive with okay take the surgery cpt code and then check the cpt codes global days okay it is a 0 to 10 days or 0 to 90 days will be your global days okay so if it is you check the global days okay and what you need to do is you build the diagnosis code is related to the surgery within the global period see how we are deciding it's a global period is based on the diagnosis code first you have to check what is the diagnosis code of the denied claim and what is the diagnosis code of the surgery cpt code okay if the both the diagnosis code are same and it is within your global period of 0 to 10 days or 90 days you cannot build this separately and you have to get the provider approval and take it for a write off okay so you are checking the cpt code and as usual as i told you you have to check the diagnosis code if the diagnosis code is not related to your surgery diagnosis code then it is not coming under your global period so what do you need to do you have to add 24 modifier and send the corrected claim if your denied claim is related to a endm okay and this is the way you need to work on this particular denial okay the modifier 24 is appended in the in the endm code alone it's not for the any other surgery course okay the same way if if the surgery has been done on the global period okay we will use two modifiers okay we will cover it in the modifier denial session okay here we are going to see only the endm code denial okay if the endm code is denied with a global period you add 24 modifier if the diagnosis code is different this is about our SOP so I'll, I'll go back again so here there's a three category one on the same claim second on the same DAS the third one is not on the same DAS or not on the same claim so we are calling this as a global denial okay so we'll come to that flowchart see the, the gimba walk that's what we we discuss about the lean management so you, you will enter the encounter and we are billing the claim and the claim is denied as an inclusive and after the inclusive denial, we we'll send it to coding review and coding review identify the correct modifier and then we can refile the correct claim or sometime coding review will find that you can appeal with the medical record or it will go for an adjustment in the case of zero. 
Okay, so what is a uh, lean methodology we are going to follow? The to be process in counter form, you have to do the billing audit. This is what we are discussing here uh, quite longer time, right? You keep your billing audit as a very stronger team to see what kind of denial you will get it in the inclusive or a mutually exclusive course. And then after this audit, whatever you find the combination of denial codes, CPT code, send it to a coding review and add a correct modifier and then build the claim with the corrected modifier so that it will not get denied for many of the claim will not deny for an inclusive. Still, if you're getting a denied claim for an inclusive, you have to appeal with the medical record or you are going to adjust the claim. OK, this is the way we are going to handle our lean methodology of the claim billing. OK, I hope you understood uh, this particular inclusive denial. OK, if you have any comments, you can write write down here. And if you like the video, please like it and then share it to your friends. OK, we will have a separate session on the modifier denial. We'll go in depth with what is a modifier and how in what scenario it will be get useful. OK, uh, thanks for watching. We'll come back with the next video related to a denial. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.